Hi again YouTube, this is Drew of the Shed, um, and this will be my VR for Benjamin Mitchell's, Benjamin, Benjamin Mitchell's long-awaited 100 subscriber giveaway. Ben, I'm a horrible actor. I apologize, this will not be acted. I am actually going to draw back very long ago, when I was in kindergarten, For Halloween, my parents, well, my mom, decided it would be a good idea if I was Paul Bunyan. Now, because I'm not an actor, I will be reading to you the first page of Paul Bunyan and the Big Blue Ox by James McDonald, which can be found in the Wisconsin Blue Book. So, this might have something really relevant to you, Benjamin. Some say Paul Bunyan was born down in Maine. Others equally as truthful claim his birthplace was Quebec. While still others insist that, the first, that he first saw the light of day on Prince Edward Island. In any event, we know that he was born somewhere. That he cut his teeth on a peevil handle drove logs on the Quebec River, and in his, in his first pair of pants, grew to be greater, or the greatest logger of all time, and in his early manhood, came to Wisconsin. In stature, Paul was a giant, as is evidenced by thousands of small lakes scattered throughout northern Wisconsin, which any lumberjack will admit are nothing more than Paul's tracks made in the spring of the year when the ground was soft and filled with water from the in melting snow. It took all the time of a swamper with a scoop shovel to keep Paul's pipe filled. His lung capacity was tremendous. Even as a youngster he could kill a whole pond full of bull bullfrogs with one holler. He could split 250 feet spit 250 feet up a hill and against the wind, and when he spoke in anger, limbs fell from trees. When he called his men for lunch, he yelled so loud that they rode out of the woods on the echo. Quite an impressive man, I do say myself. Sourdough Sam, one of Paul's cooks, used to call Paul's men to dinner by blowing through a woodpecker hole in an old pine stump. But Paul devised the idea that a large dinner horn, oh, let me find my place here, the large dinner of a large dinner horn. Big Ollie the blacksmith made the whole horn of sheet iron, and the first time that Paul blew it, he knocked down ten acres of pine. To better batters, he pointed the horn straight up in the air, but the result was a tornado that blew down three of his camps. After this, Paul let Sourdough Sam return to calling the men to dinner by blowing through the woodpecker hole in the pine stump. Not only was Paul a large man, but he loved to work with large men. The winter he log logged on the Big Onion, he did not hire a single man that was measured less than six and a half feet sitting, sitting down, and weighed less than 300 pounds in his undershirt. The food he furnished his men added mightily to their strength and endurance, as is shown by the fact that the chipmunks that prune th that chipmunks that ate prune pits that were thrown out of Paul's camps grew so large that they ate up all the wolves and were later shot by the settlers as tigers. Benjamin, congratulations on the hundred subs. You really deserve it. You're a very, very kind, generous, and interesting man. Continue your channel. I love watching your videos, and I love watching your creativity. Um, and I, I am just so pleased that you got to 100 subscribers. Um, continue on, my friend. You have great things in your future.